General? I feel a sense of peace. It was difficult, but I guess I've come to understand something about myself. It's nothing, just something that opened my eyes. Ask me about it some other time. Was there something you wanted me for? Is something wrong? That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? The tomb on Duxon held many dangers. I did not think I would be up for the challenge. I was pleased that I was mistaken, and that perhaps some of my long-held beliefs are not true after all. It is not important. Perhaps we will discuss it another time. Something wrong? Go ahead and ask. My life for yours. I will answer what I can. Have you come with questions? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There, now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Do not let them discover what makes you what you are before you do, or the consequences for the galaxy will be terrible. Because you learned to live without the Force, and that is something that the galaxy is not ready to accept. Ask, and I will answer. up. All right, what did you want to know?
down. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place. For those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Korriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. My life Something is yours. You need of me? My life.
head lies the tomb of Naga Sadao, successor to Makaragnos, and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the Great Hyperspace War a millennia ago. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. This was the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. His skill was considered remarkable even in his time, when many true lightsaber masters lived. If you were to face an ancient Sith Lord in combat, you would learn that we are as children playing with toys compared to the prowess of the old masters. That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these Hisses as thralls to their will. Junta Paul, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. A Junta's dark spectre lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of a Junta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. One who has fallen so far, and done so much evil, does not deserve redemption. In a way, such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. Perhaps. But redemption is a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did Ajanta Paul. That is only speculation, however. 
Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Ragnos held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos's successor. Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protected secrets. from the cave tells of great power within, recently awakened. The valley we just came from was full of dark energy, but 
This cave is darker still. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. Takada were once trained to serve the Sith here. You can expect more than these beasts within the Academy. Be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> 